Welcome back to some more Mineko When They Cry. So, where we last left off? Uh... Last part feels very... Sadly unfortunate. Battler... Is, uh, you know, this is the weird part. It's hard to tell whether Battler was either being incompetent uh, intentionally, or it's that he's desperate to where he wanted to save Beato from being erased permanently. And within like 30 minutes in, he already used up his trump card. And then he made the decision where he got killed off and took the L against Down. So, yep, he pretty much gone. Because he sent to the shadow and thus Natsuki has no ally to defend her no ally to defend her no one from the fa within the fantasy realm which is uh, have the capability to defend her as well so and yeah always already guaranteed to be guilty even though I feel like Natsuki, as of now, is feels like she's been treated unfairly, in a way. But I don't know. Hard to tell when it comes when you when you're reading through like the narratives and then the di. Well, there is the part with the diaries. So yeah, a bit difficult to bear through. In all honesty, I mean, I, I did had, I mean, three parts that were just nothing but having to endure through like three hours of the fucking the great court to whether or not he's guilty or not and, you know there there it goes it it's already concluded so let's continue uh, each time Erica read Natsuki's diaries one after another she exposed more of Natsuki's emotions during those painful days Natsuki hadn't written them to leave those words behind she had written to forget those memories and seal them away. That's why she had written down her feelings during those painful days, locked them up, and sealed them away for all eternity. However, Erica claimed that these were Natsuki's true hidden feelings that had been locked away and concealed. Since it had already been concluded, quote unquote, that Natsuki was a murderer, everyone accepted Erica's claim. By this point, the Red Truth wasn't even necessary to establish Natsuki's motive. As long as the reason seemed plausible, everyone would believe it. No matter how much Natsuki might object, no one would believe her. No one would, could accept the truth Natsuki spoke of about the days she had spent loving her husband. She had been painted over by a false truth in which she hated her husband and swore event revenge against him. The pen of the gods that composes the truth had been given to Erika. いつかこういう日も来るのではないかと思っておりました。そしてその支えになりたいと日々思っていたのですが力を及ばずこのようなことに僕には愛憎の気持ちなんてわからない。Emotions are pretty questionable if you think about it that way. あなたにもいつかわかるわ。そしてそれは生きる目的にも。
本当に夏日をまさか犯人なのかああそれを言われると実は最後に一つだけ夏日さん以外に犯人の可能性のある人がいらっしゃいまして There's this one person? おいふざけるなよなんでそんな大事なことを早く言わないんだ夏日さん実はあなた以外にも犯行の可能な方が一人いらっしゃるんですあなたがどうしても犯人でないとおっしゃるならその方が犯人ということになってしまうんですがそれは誰だ誰なんだ OK but here's the thing though why do you cons why construe why make con why construct the red truth to where like Natsuki is always the bad guy when oh, which is weird Okay, this is weird right here from what it says. It says there's one person besides Nasaki that might also be the culprit. But. But why is it that within the red. Why is it within the great court that everything is always painted Nasaki as the bad guy as and one and one and only, though? And yeah, like I can't question the narrative, but it feels like this is kind of an unfair narrative to、um, to really like to co even to control the reader as to think like, oh, Natsuki's a bad person. I don't doesn't really like why 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 announce that. Why announce that there's a,、uh, one person besides her when you make it look like that, like all, earlier? Ushiromiya Kinzo san des. Kinzo san wa kyo no mime. Sankai shosai no mado kara o dekake ni narareta mama, yukue shiretz. そうでしたねバトラさん<笑> No words ナツヒさんと同じように金蔵さんにも全くアリバイがありません実は今回の事件金蔵さんにも犯行は可能なんです私はてっきり最初からいらっしゃらない人物だと決めてかかっていたので今の今まですっかり失念していましたそれをお詫びいたしますシディンロックシャイオアポロジェティックのスライダスエリカバウデンアスアンプレゼンアマナーアザヴァーシェアヘルドグラジャーシンスルディフィンドスタディバトル夏日さんは金蔵さんの信頼を受けて最もその身近でお仕えしていた方でしたよね。Okay, but it's weird. What? なら夏日さんが一番よくわかっているのではないでしょうか。この事件が実は後ろ宮金蔵さんによる。当主の犯罪であることをお,お父様を犯人呼ばわりするというのですかご安心よ金蔵さんが犯人ということであってもホワイダニットを構築できるだけの証拠と証言をすでに十分に用意してありますあなたが金蔵さんをかばうために
自らを犠牲にしたという筋書きでも十分に対応可能です。Okay, but here's the weird part. When the Kinzo's whereabouts are unknown, and then if it's already instated that Kinzo、uh, is, is confirmed, like deceased、um, since the beginning. How can you paint the dead person as guilty then? Ever since the late period, the author Ellery Queen. Tan Tay no Sui di Sai mo Suji Gaki ni Kumi Komare te iru kano se ga arimasu kara. Honto ni u d a n n a r a n a i jidai ni natta mono desu. Oto sama o han nin yoba wari suru nado. ナツヒさん頭を冷静にして胸に手を当ててよく考えてくださいあなたが実は金蔵さんが犯人でしたと告発してくれればこの事件は全て解決するんですあなたの濡れ衣は晴らされ名誉も回復されるでしょう In other words, by pushing the crime onto Kinzo, Natsuki would be saved. However, How can Kinzo be, the, be, be an evil person unless Natsuki is the, intentionally hiding things? You know? I don't know. Kinzo is pretty, sus pretty suspect on various occasions. So, no, I'm not sure. 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 Unacceptable, unbearable outcomes. いいんですかすでに散々立証しております通りあなた以外のアリバイはすべて証明されていますあなたが金蔵さんを告発されないならばやはりあなたが犯人だということで今度こそ本当に特定され真実となってしまいますよ私を犯人だと決めつけることがあなたの真実だというのならお好きになさればいいでしょう私が無実であることを神様はきっとご存知です必ずやいつか私の無実を証明してくれます If it came to a choice between her and Kinzo being framed, Natsuki would sacrifice herself. Perhaps that was her way of protecting the Ushiro Mia family's honor. Natsuki. Oma san. Chance wa arita no ni. Stupid woman. If this future where your name will eventually be cleared doesn't exist for any of you. Not for any of the pieces on the board. On this board, that is. Natsuki had made her decision. If they were going to call her the culprit, she would let them. She boldly rejected the thought of selling Kinzo's honor to gain a momentary truth where she wasn't the culprit. And therefore, the tale was woven with her as the culprit. In the future, if the accusations against her are proven false, this tale will probably re be rewritten. However, that future will never come. I think truth is a fleeting thing, even if I am a good person until my death. If some heartless person after my death overwrites the records and says I wasn't a good person, and if that is shared with everyone else, then even all the goodness in which I lived my life could be overwritten easily. And so I think that I won't live as a good person for all eternity. 金蔵さんが犯人でないとおっしゃるならば
金蔵さんに犯行が不可能であるというアリバイが必要ですそうでなくては真の意味で夏日さんを犯人だと特定できませんエリカは多分知っていると思うんですけど金蔵は何もないのでアリバイが必要なのでアリバイが必要なので、アリバイが必要なので、アリバイが必要なので、アリバイが必要なので、アリバイが必要なので、As has been made known by the Red Truth in previous games, Kinzo died a long time ago. And in this fifth game, his corpse hasn't even appeared. Okay, but、well, that's the weird part for the fifth game. His corpse disappeared. And, there's, and his whereabouts are known, then how can you tell if he, that he's dead? In a situation like this, it wouldn't be easy to absolutely prove his death. If Kinzo's death was confirmed, it would practically erase that defeat in the study. It was the only way Erica had of removing the humiliation of that loss. And there was nothing that could confirm Kinzo's death almost as certainly as real proof. And that was the confession of the culprit. It would mean having Natsuki herself acknowledge that Kinzo no longer existed in this world. That way, it would be acknowledged that Erika's reasoning in the study was correct. That loss would be painted over and it would be rewritten as Erika's victory. Ah,、uh, we're. Ah,、uh, we're back in the Great Court. God damn it. Badler hung suspended by Dalinor's red long sword. Beato had disappeared by having her existence denied, and her minions had gone too. In this cathedral that they had disappeared from, only Natsuki and the witches convicting her remained. <laughs> そうですお父様はご健在でおられます誰が何と言おうと私はそれを翻しますす過去のゲームの赤き真実で金蔵がすでに死亡していることは確定してるわでもそれじゃあベルンの気が収まらないわけでしょはい。完璧な勝利を私は求めてるのだから赤で金蔵の死が決まってるからそれでチェックメイトなんて面白くないの夏日の口からリザインと言わせて勝利したいのよ<笑>ならやってごらんなさいよお手並みを拝見させてもらうわ。我が主今こそ我らに完全なる勝利を無論よ夏日あなたは金蔵は間違いなく生きているけれどその所在はわからないというのねええそうですお父様は窓よりお出になられて行方知れず。困った方です。You probably must have escaped to the forest by now. <laughs> Lambda. <laughs> I mean, it could be stupid. I mean, everything like from the previous. I'm pretty sure, like, 
couple of few episodes ago, there were mentions of a fucking forest, so. Kinzon no 24 hours から朝までの所在について確実にするわ。Kinzon は24hours から朝までずっと同じ部屋に滞在したわ。ん？そりゃそうでしょ。死体なんだから。Wait, hang on. He stayed in the same room. Well, he was, yeah. これより「金蔵」という言葉を「生きている金蔵」という意味で使うわ何しろ夏日は「生きている」と主張するのだから。続けて赤き真実を語るわ金蔵は屋敷以外の場所には存在しないそうよねエリカははい我が主金蔵の姿を探し屋敷の外敷地内をくまなく捜索しましたしかし金蔵は発見できませんでした Because of the detective's authority, Erica could find all clues, quote unquote. Therefore, if Erica was unable to find a hint that Kinzo existed outside the mansion, quote unquote, it was the same as proving that Kinzo didn't exist outside the mansion. Therefore, Burn Castle repeated that truth of Erica's. Kinzo was a place where he was in the house. ねえ夏日なら金蔵が存在するなら屋敷内のどこかにいることになるわどこに金蔵が隠れているのか心当たりがあったら教えてくれない He does not exist outside the mansion. わ分かりかねます何しろこの天気です中庭へ出られた後はお屋敷のどこかへ隠れ雨をしのがれていたとしても何も不思議はありません<笑>私はこれからも同じ質問を数度繰り返すわあなたに名誉ある幸福の機会を数度与える痩せ我慢が過ぎると本当の名誉まで失うことになるわよいかなる脅しにも私が屈することはありませんあなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、If she doesn't know about the whereabouts, then you're either. You're, you're either. You don't know. Or. It's. I don't know. It's like two choices in the movie. So. Anata wa honto ni ijime gai na aru koma da wa? De wa tsuzukeru wa yo? では。夏日さんし知りません3階にいないなら地下にでも隠れたのではありませんかええ地下ですねボイラー室地下倉庫など怪しげな地下も全て捜索させていただきましたええ私も探したわ
お父様の姿なんてどこにもなかった繰り返します金蔵さんはどこにいるんですか夏日さんなら1階か2階にでもいたのでしょうそうですね消去法で行くならそうなりますそして1階を徹底的に捜索しました結果はいいえお父様の姿を見つけることはできなかったわ繰り返します金蔵さんはどこにいたんですか夏日さん Is she gonna be asked the same question? Oh god. Oh no, we gotta have to. Yeah, I gotta. We gotta bear through the same fucking question over and over again. Search first floor is done. Third floor. What about this? The. 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 本当にそうでしょうか夏日さんは金蔵さんがどこに隠れていたのか本当はご存知なんじゃないですかお奥様が親方様がどこに隠れていたのかご存知 Does she or does she not? That's... そんなこと。あるはずありません。Both Shannon and Cannon knew that Kinzo was already dead, so they didn't have a clue how Erica would use a phantom of a person who didn't exist to corner Natsuki. Yashiki 以外の場所に金蔵はいない。三階に金蔵はいない。地下に金蔵はいない一階に金蔵はいない以上から金蔵が存在しうる余地の検討は2階だけとなるわ赤き真実を認めるわ夏日金蔵は2階のどこかにいるはず。まだどこに隠れてるか教えてくれないの If he's... Oh no. Here's the weird part. If he's not on the second floor, does this mean that she's just... She's stalling? It's the weird part. な何度聞かれても答えられないものは答えられません<音声>エリカそれでは端から順に。2階のすべてを捜索していきなさいすべての手がかりを絶対に見落とさずいかなる隠し扉も隠し部屋もカンパできる探偵権限ではい我が主夏日さんって結構頭悪い方ですよねまだ話の落としどころ見えないんですか<笑>余計なことは言わなくていいわさあエリカ全員を引き連れて捜索を始めなさいああ。A thorough investigation, huh? Erica used her detective's authority to take everyone, even Natsuki, and go up to the second floor to search every room, starting at one end. 
Even for rooms that were thought to have nothing at all to do with the crime, Erica did not relax her search in the slightest. Now that is what you call being a passionate about your, your current role of the job. Her search was thorough in every single room as they moved through them all. まだ金蔵さんはどこに隠れているか教えてくださらないのですか。日陰になさい。私は知らないと何度口にすればいいのですか。夏日さん、このまま調べていってもきっと金蔵さんは見つかりませんよね。Of course. Kinzo doesn't exist. No matter how long the search continues, it's just a waste of time. This was known by Erica, the witch's peace, and not to be the one who knew the truth. となると、捜索はあの廊下の突き当たりの部屋を最後とします。つまり、あの部屋を残して、すべての部屋に金蔵さんがいなかったことが証明されると、どうなると思います? He isn't on the third floor or the first floor of the basement, and he isn't in any of the rooms on the second floor, except the one at the end. So if he really did exist inside the mansion, it had been proven that he could only exist in that room at the end. In other words, this was a Hempel's Raven, because it had been established that a living Kinzo couldn't exist anywhere except the final room at the end of the corridor. That automatically meant that a living Kinzo existed in that final room. Well, that final room has not been uh, opened up yet, so... And that room at the end of the corridor was... <laughs> oh no! Is it, is it that? Is it the one at the... the one and only door? I feel like that one room at the very end of the corridor got like teased before. Was it teased in the second episode? I could have sworn it was either first or second. I could be wrong. I might have to go back. I might have to go back. Maybe there would be a, a possibility of a, a stream at some point. Lambda Delta was munching on a refill of popcorn. It's Natsuki's room. Oh shit. That's funny. Anywhere he does not exist anywhere outside Natsuki. Oh shit. If they investig you know, that's the thing. No one had investigated her room just yet. That's because you never you never searched through her room yet. Oh, no. She's gonna oh fucking hell Nasi, you're gonna get fucking humiliated. I'm gonna feel so bad. In her rage, Natsuki unlocked the door to her room and pointed inside. Of course, Kinzo was nowhere, nowhere to be seen. Oh shit! <laughs> Have we been duped? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's one thing. Like she was, 
Wait. If she keeps hiding things, couldn't she just tell Erica about the her previous conversation on the phone? If Kinzo wasn't in this last room, it meant that he didn't exist anywhere. There was no living Kinzo outside the mansion. There was no living Kinzo inside the mansion. Therefore, no living Kinzo existed. However, Erica didn't make that argument. She had pointed that out herself without making a checkmate. It was because Burn Castle didn't want to win by cornering Natsuki with the Red Truth. She wanted to force Natsuki to accept a humiliating resignation. Kinzo-san つまり、20時から朝までの間、金蔵はある異室にこもり続けたことになってて。そしてそれは夏日の部屋ということだわ。赤木真実によるチェックメイトがとうとう。金蔵の幻というコマを夏日の部屋にまで追い詰めたということよ
この部屋の徹底的な捜索および厳重な科学捜査の結果この部屋の全域で24時から朝までの間金蔵さんが存在しないという結果が出ましたただしあなたのベッドだけを除きます Hiding in her bed. Now that's hella silly. If you think about it that way. A shocked silence. A shocked silence dominated the room. Natsuki forgot. Natsuki <laughs> completely forgot to close her open mouth. Oh shit. Yep. Giving Erica the attention that she wanted. Sakuya. 黄金発見の前後の頃推定23時頃3階までより脱出した金蔵さんはあなたの部屋のベッドの中にかくまわれていたということですそしてさらに気の毒な捜査結果ですがあなたもこのベッドで就寝されていたことが判明しています What a crazy game of hide and seek. 重ねて復唱するわ24時から朝までの人が生きた金蔵の存在する余地は夏日のベッドの中以外に存在しないそして夏日も昨晩同じベッドで就寝したわ That same bed. あら仲良しさんたちね2人で仲良く枕を分けっこして眠ったわけねアオキ真実以上から後宮夏日と後宮金蔵には上皇の可能性があったと推測できるわ男女が同じ枕で一晩過ごして。他に何を推測しろと ?Natsuki and Kenzo have a sexual relationship?What? Now that's. That's. That's a bit. That's a bit of a wild narrative to put it this way. Some, uh, some odd incest moments. Natsuki! Aoki Shinjits には Akaki Shinjits で反論なさい。もちろん、魔女でないあんたに使える赤はない。だから私が代わりに Akaki Shinjits で語ってあげてもいいわ。私を納得させられる証拠を示せるならね。そ,そんな証拠あ,あるわけがありません。私をどこまで苦労するというのですか。踊れ。Natsuki tried to attack Erika, but Eva pinned her arms behind her back so she couldn't do anything. What a strange thing. Natsuki was first to be released from Natsuki. He was first to be released from Natsuki. That's why Natsuki was used to be used to be used. そんなことはしません私は自分の体を夫以外に許したことはただの一度もありません Does that explain the the、uh, the child that was Natsuki was supposed to adopt but rejected it and then you know 
No, I've, I can't just do that one. <laughs> That's, that would sound pretty fucking retarded. あなたが金蔵さんと密会を重ねていたことはすでに複数の関係者からの証言で明らかです。だって昨晩だって金蔵さんの書斎で二人っきりでお休みのご挨拶をされてたんですものね。それどころか明らかな情報の宝石の証言
意義あるものは名乗りを上げよう。All of those who might have ejected had been erased. それでは私が真相を紡ぐわこれがこの悲しく間抜けな物語の真相よ本当は泣き笑いしながら罪を認めた夏日に自ら語ってほしかったんだけどねそれがお約束なんでしょ<笑>To curry favor with Rikinzo, Natsuki repeatedly disguised herself as Beatrice, a witch and figment of Kinzo's imagination, and engaged in sexual acts. Kinzo saw Natsuki dressed as the mistress from his past and was easily ensnared. Additionally, a servant happened to witness her in this outfit, forming part of the basis for the legend of the witch. Trial Summer, page 8. Submitted evidence number 17. Burn Castle documents at page 802. However, late at night on 1986 of October 4th, the Shiromiya Battler discovered the hidden gold. Natsuki planned the crimes after the relatives raised a fuss and insisted that Battler should succeed the headship. She murdered the children in the cousin's room, quote unquote, and tried to frame Battler for the crime. Furthermore, Genji was murdered because he was, he was opposed to this scheme. Later on, Hideyoshi was also murdered. After this point, Natsuki displayed a strong intent to murder all those involved without discrimination. Trial Summary of page 27. Supplemental Materials B, page 61. Burn Castle Documents, page 1103. The concrete details of the crimes are as follows 1986, October 4th, 2400 a.m. Natsuki decided to commit the crimes. <laughs> Because Genji refused to assist her when asked, she murdered him. She then murdered her husband, Kraus, in his own room. Trial summary of page 40. Supplemental materials S, page 8. Burn Castle documents, page 1105. Great Court Internal Documents Library of Law of AO9 Number 9974. Afterwards, she went to the cousin's room, quote unquote, on the upper floor of the guest house, waited for Rosa to join the rest, and killed George, Jessica, Maria, and Rosa. She mutilated the necks of the bodies. Afterwards, because there were people in the downstairs lounge, she waited in an empty room upstairs. She hid in this empty room until the people in the lounge dispersed and went to bed. Trial summary, page 41. Supplemental materials S, page 
Urn Castle Documents, page 1131. Great Court Internal Documents, Library of Law, AO 9, number 9974. The people in the lounge dispersed just after 3 a.m. Natsuki left the empty room and escaped from the guest house. She had returned to her room, where she met up with Kinza, who had been hiding there. They spent the rest of the night there together. Kinzo left the room early next morning and concealed himself somewhere near the guest house. Trial summary, page 41. Supplemental materials S, page 29. Burn Castle documents, page 1200. Great Court Eternal Documents, Library of Law, A09-9974. Afterwards, Kinzo saw his chance and carried off the bodies of the six victims one by one, hiding them. Oh, unfortunately, these hidden bodies have not been found. Trial Summary, page 42. Supplemental Materials S, page 37. You know, that's the weird part. Like, if if they were magically, you know, transported, you know, it could, they could just frame it as Kinzo, you know, hiding the bodies just like that. Great Court Internal Documents, Library of Law, A09-9974. Natsuki, who had failed in her scheme to cast suspicion on Battle changed her plan to include the murder of all present. Trial Summary, page 58. Supplemental Materials T, page 19. Burn Castle Documents, page 1348. Great Court Internal Documents, Library of Law, A09-9974. Predicting that one of those present would eventually want to take a rest in the private room, Natsuki concealed herself inside a closet in one of the guest rooms. When Hideyoshi visited that room at approximately 1300, she murdered him. Which is weird, because Natsuki was hiding in the closet the whole entire time. But this sort of... But the way it's construed right there, it made her like she murdered him. Trial Summary, page 61. Supplemental Materials T, page 26. Great Court Internal Documents, Library of Law, A09-9974. Natsuki once again concealed herself in the closet from the time the others became aware of the incident to the time that they carried out Hideyoshi's body. Furthermore, as proof of this, a button from Natsuki's clothes was found in the closet. Afterwards, she exited the closet and tried to return to her own room. A button from her clothes. However, oh wow, well, if, if that was true, then, you know, it's kind of fucked. However, Furuta Erika discovered her on the way, and Natsuki confessed to her crimes after questioning. Trial Summary of page 63. Supplemental Materials T, page 32, submitted evidence number 26. Burn Castle Documents of page 1348. Lambda Delta Documents, line 7. Great Court Internal Documents, Library of Law, AO9-9974. Great Internal... Great Court Internal Documents, Legal... Mount... Something, U99, number 0107. Great Court Official Notice, number 01724434. Great Court Official Notice, number 0172434. Trial Illusion number 0147, uh, numbers 1998, something, these numbers, 1986, October 5th, 2400, decides as follows. Ishiro Miyanatsuki confessed to the crimes. For a period of 13 months following this announcement, related documents may be used at the Great Court Legal Offices Document Management Center, first subsection. Great Court Deputy Attorney General, Chief Inquisitor, Dalinor A. Knox. As though she'd given up and decided that it'd be useless to try and talk her way out of this any longer. And Natsuki screamed that out. It was a sad incident. 
I don't know. I feel like the entirety of this fifth episode is just really sad to me. Like, she's she's getting smeared on through and through. Um, even though she, like, whatever she did, it wasn't as isn't as like evil. She didn't even do anything like evil. She was trying to like get away from all this nonsense, no matter how much. Um, baggage that she's been piled on. I wanted to believe that, despite pitiful circums, despite the pitiful circumstances that led to her marriage into the Ushiromiya family, Natsuki just might have been able to grasp a sliver of happiness together with Uncle Kraus and Jessica. However, by Aunt Natsuki's own doing, Uncle Kraus and even her beloved daughter Jessica had been heartlessly killed. It was even harder to believe that her grandfather had been an accomplice and hid the corpses. However, judging by the clear testimony given by several people who knew him, grandfather's mental state for these last few years had been, has been far from what anyone would consider normal. Perhaps possessed by a mad devotion to the mistress he had lost long ago, grandfather might truly have believed that Ann Natsuki was a reincarnation of Beatrice. Where is grandfather now? Like Erica had theorized, did he really believe that he could revive Beatrice by carrying out murders following the epitaph, succumbing to Natsuki's cajolery? Right now, is he holding some kind of disturbing ceremony with the bodies he carried away? <laughs> Aunt Natsuki sobbed as she spoke. This man from 19 years ago that Aunt Natsuki kept mentioning was supposedly someone who had caught her in some sort of trap. However, she had only mentioned that this man from 19 years ago existed, and she most certainly hadn't tried to explain what had happened 19 years ago. Yeah, what happened? She didn't ever. She never explained the backstory. Well, this is weird. This is paint. This is like constructed this way. But even though, like, this fifth up, is there like a? There's a lot of backstory, if you ask me. あの男の手先が混じっているはずです。あの男はあなたたちの誰かを通じて今のこの私を嘲笑っているでしょう。なら伝えなさい。これで気は晴れましたか。19年間あなたを災難だ痛みと苦しみは少しは言えましたか。私は分かりました。私をここまで追い詰めたのは、それを認めさせたかったからですね。ナチシさん、私たち以外に部外者は一切存在しません。Oh, we reached that conclusion, huh? No, if it's only Natsuki and Erika, where, 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 where about the other ones? But what about the phone call, though? Erika laughed mockingly, but as Aunt Natsuki looked at us, no, as she looked at some being behind us, she hung her head and shook. Then she confessed to her sin.
やっと直接的な言葉で罪を認めましたねいいえ昨日今日の事件のことではありません19年前の殺人について告白しますわお、あれしでとんわあれしあんのりしだっぽい。いや、the rest of it that happened from October 5th and 6th and so on, so far, it feels all construed that way. But yeah, I think. I think we endured more than enough. This seems pretty sad, in all honesty. Like, it's unfortunate how, like, everything gets painted this way. It's like, it's hard to, like. No, it's really hard to tell when you put it through your own judgment this way. The lack of love, the, uh, um, um, painting Natsuki, uh, out of spite like this way. Seems, uh, it's a bit wild. But, you know, aside of that, next part, let's see, uh, what's more to come. Whether Natsuki's gonna tell the whole truth. From 19 years ago. So, with that said, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Y'all have a good one.